Hi, my name is Mr. Orlando, and I am a teacher formerly at the JT Lambert Intermediate School and now with the East Stroudsburg Cyber Academy. I'm really excited to be teaching you this year because I like technology. I'm not going to lie. I like teaching this way um, for certain things. Uh, there are things that I don't like about it, but um, overall, te technology is cool, man. It lets us do amazing things in really, really difficult circumstances. Um, I'm also excited for you guys because you get to learn some really cool skills along with your traditional education. What is traditional? What does that mean? I have a couple of recommendations for you before you get started this year. In addition to um, the normal lessons that you're going to get through Edgenuity and through our conversations together, you're also going to learn a lot about how to work in this environment and how to work with yourself. Okay, so I have three little guidelines um, and I've labeled them with an acronym you should be able to remember and it's CDC. All right, so just like the Center for Disease Control, just like how you should listen to what they say, you should also listen to these three little letters, CDC. Um, and they stand for this. First, create a good headspace. This means physical space, not just like in your head. What it means is you don't do schoolwork in places that don't help you, okay? Sitting in front of the television and listening to lessons on edgenuity, not helpful, right? Sitting in your bed and doing lessons, not helpful. Humans are very habitual creatures, and when you do work in the same place, you are more successful. Studies have shown that when students do a test, such as like an English Keystone test or an SAT, in the same room in which they learned that information, they do better on the test than if they had done it in a different room. So make sure that you're doing your work in the same place every day. Make sure you're making that your workspace. Make sure you're doing nothing else there, okay? Now, if you only have one computer and you tend to do work at that computer and you play at that computer and do games or scroll social media, whatever, then at least do something different between your work time and your playtime. And one thing you can do is D, dress for success. Uh, studies by a California University professor show that students who were placed in formal attire before taking tests performed better on critical thinking and analytical sections of the test. That's awesome, right? When you dress a certain way, you are putting on a persona. Okay, you know that when you go to a party, you dress up to feel nice, okay? And you know that when you're hanging out at home, you dress comfortably to relax. The same thing happens with schoolwork. When you dress in more formal attire, you tend to feel a little bit more upbeat and punctual. That can actually impact your grades. So I would recommend that you stick to some kind of full normal clothing when you do schoolwork. I know that sounds ridiculous. I know you want to sit at home in your pajamas. Trust me, I would love to be sitting here in my pajamas right now, but that's not the case. Um, wear something maybe that has a collar if you have a polo shirt or it doesn't have to be this kind of nice if you have a nice pair of Jordans, right? Whatever makes you feel like you're getting dressed up nice wear that and it may actually help you focus on schoolwork and then when you're done with school reward yourself by changing out of those clothes and getting into something comfortable okay go put on a bathing suit and jump in the pool all right but when you're doing the schoolwork try to pretend you're actually in that new headspace okay um and the last c is control yourself i don't mean like don't jump around the classroom i mean when I say classroom, I mean your parents' house, obviously, but control yourself. Find ways to reward yourself for doing work at the right time. You're getting an incredible amount of practice for college and work placement by learning how to control your personal behaviors with no one there to guide you. Okay, I'm not physically there telling you to look at something. Now, eventually you'll have to turn something in and I'll be like, where is it? And you're like, I don't know, I was playing Call of Duty for nine hours and then we can talk about it. But up until that point, I don't know, I can't guide you. And 
that is a skill that you're going to have to take through life. When you go to college or if you go to work and you wake up at eight o'clock in the morning and you know you have to get in the car to either get to class or get to your shift at McDonald's or get to your you know placement at a at a apprenticeship, you have to be there on time, right? No one can make you do that. You have to make you do that, okay? So create a good headspace, physical space, be in a good place, be in the right place to do your work every day. Dress for success, wear something nice, and finally control yourself, usually with little rewards or with different ways to um, encourage you to get the work done. Say, I will study for one hour. I will do nothing else. There will be nothing on my screen. There will be no games, no phone, right? Take this phone thing, put it away for a little while and just do the work. And then when you're done, force yourself to get away from the work. Say, okay, now I have to get a half an hour break. Now I get to relax and do something until that timer goes off and then you go back to work, okay? Take those skills, take that advice, C, D, C, um, and that's how we're gonna try to go through the year. These are things that I do in my life. These are things that are backed up by, by science and backed up by studies. So um, they're easy, simple ways for you to every day create a little habit to make your learning just that much better. Um, I'm really excited to work with you this year. Again, my name is Mr. Orlando, and uh, I hope to see you all very soon in our first meeting. Bye.